Good morning, everybody. We are heading to Epcot for food and wine today. First time. At a minivan. We are ready to go. We're heading to another minivan because we loved it so much last time. Minivan. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Here comes our minivan. Even though it's really a Chevy Traverse, but. <laughs> It does on the side. Yeah, on the side of it. No. Woo. On the top of its head. Oh. I don't know if those would be legal, kid. All right, so we made it in. We got about 15 more minutes until rope drop. But about a half hour early puts you in a pretty good spot. After that, you're a little further back. start to finish to end a ride 25 minutes total for a test track now for soaring we're inside the land for this so jeff what did you think of soaring that's cool <laughs> we're heading to our first fast pass of the day for spaceship earth and we're gonna drop off the backpack in one of the lockers now it's time for spaceship earth <laughs> Just means another trip here. All right, Festival Center, like the Mimosa Bar. It's over by Mission Space. I got a little lost, personally. Just FYI. That's right. All right, here we go. <laughs> so Olivia is trying the drinking chocolate at Festival Center. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I love it. Big guy? Yep. Yeah. Pretty good? Cheers! Mm, yeah. That's really good. <laughs> and then I also got the sparkling red from the Ghirardelli booth too, so... Ooh, that's good! Mm, yeah. Delicious! Yeah. Yeah. This is probably one of the most popular spots in here. The shimmering... shimmering... yeah, shimmering sips the most of Alright, so we're going to do some damage here. We have the blood orange mimosa, the key lime, the passion mimosa, and then two beer flights. What do you got going on right there? There we go, a saison. Lemon or honeydew melon coals. Okay, and what's the other? IPA, shipyard. He likes Tesla's. There's some dark ones in there, buddy. Roasted red ale and a triple chocolate milk stout. Is that All right. Point? And then Olivia went with the blueberry muffin. <laughs> <laughs> not alcoholic, of course. you don't know, I'm not really a beer person. Kind of like some sours, but that's about it. Jeffrey's saying I have to try this triple chocolate milk stout, so. It does taste like chocolate, just not my thing. You don't want it. Trust me. First up, we're gonna go with the key lime, because I love key lime. It's good. I, w I don't get a real big key limey flavor out of it. Thoughts? 
I don't get a huge key lime flavor out of it. All right, now to the passion mimosa. Ooh, that's really good. Mm. I think it's pretty good. Nemo time. Mine, 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 mine. Mine, 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 mine. Here's my Hi, Passport is next to eat. There's supposed to be some really good vegetarian burgers here. This is the Impossible Burger. That's the Steakhouse Blended Burger. Okay. Which one do you want to go for first? Either. I'm hungry. Are you ready? Okay. That's good. Here goes the Impossible. I would say the Impossible is like a little more like grainy, like veggie. Also, like not a bad way though. Really good. This steakhouse one's really good. I would say it's really comparable to meat. Like it even kind of looks like it. The steakhouse one. Yeah. This is seriously, seriously such a cute area. Big fan of Earth Eats. Just heading over to Coastal Eats to see if we can get uh, a couple seafood dishes to try. All right. So we got the crab cake, the scallops, and what do we have here? Shrimp scampi dip. Shrimp scampi dip. All right. All right. Shrimp scampi dip for this girl. Oh, that is so good. That is so right, good. Now the crab cake. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Really fun. Last but not least, the scallops. The longest way over there. Those are good. Coastal Kitchen's a win. Now we are on our way into the World Showcase to eat more, to drink more. Oh, and to go right frozen. I'm a big fan of Greek food, so this is a must stop. I got the Spanakopita and the Bogotza. Spanakopita. Okay. Spanakopita, one of my faves. Mm. Very good. Okay. Not for you? Nope. And the bogazza. <laughs> it's good, but I wouldn't get it again. No, this is definitely one of my favorite pavilions in the World Showcase. I did not miss the Maelstrom ride, but they did a really great job with Frozen. Here we go. Lydia's gonna try a mango wasi. We were at the India booth. Yum, yum. Wasi with booze. Brain freeze. How is it? You don't like it being curry and an alcoholic mango lassi. Here we go. Keeping it classy over here on a stand. It's good. It's, it's sweeter than I thought it would be. I wouldn't get it again, but I'll eat it. Then the PA de Resistance, the Indian cream liqueur and the mango lassi. This is a big one. Jeffrey's going over for the beer and the wine play for us. Yum! Time from Germany. Delicious. That's good. Yeah, it's a little flavor. It's so tiny. Do you like this I haven't one? had that one. This one's really good. Okay. You like that one? I think behind that. I really like that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are good. That was a good stop. Literally perfect. It's like 78 degrees, slight breeze, sun keeps popping in and out. Lovely. Same booth. Pro tip we learned today is that if you want to order three, of the meals right here. You can actually use your quick service dining credit versus the snack credit. Awesome the charcuterie, Jeff? Yep. That's quite good. Got meats, olives, cheeses, we've got the paella, and then the seafood salad. 
So overall thought on Spain because I could not set you guys on anything to try it was the charcuterie cone was really good. Amazing. Amazing. The paella, really good with the rice. And then um, the seafood salad, it wasn't what I was hoping it would be. Um, probably wouldn't get it again. It was extremely like fishy tasting. And I like seafood, but it was just a little too fishy tasting for me. All right, so that was a spicy sushi roll. Remember what was in it? What's in it? I don't. Tuna? Tuna. Mm. I'm pretty sure. The chicken teriyaki bun and the beef. Mm -hmm. I opted for the Fuji apple cocktail that has peach schnapps, sake, green apple syrup. Adventurous. This was really good. I enjoyed the beef and theory. Wasn't that good? That's really good. It's really good. We got the chocolate baklava. Alright, you ready? Um. What do you think? Crunchy. What? Crunchy. It's crunchy here. Oh, really good. <laughs> this may or may not be my fourth mimosa of the day. What do you have? Is that mine? Let me see. Oh, what is that? It's a waffle with blueberries and whipped cream. Wow. This is kind of like a pot roasty thing, right? Yeah, I don't know. All right, give it a try. Is there like a meat in there? Yeah. It's really good. It's a little we sweet got this, and then we got waffles. You really jumped out at me. Are you together? Yeah. Except for a cocktail, of course. How is it? I wish they had this one year round. The passion fruit? It's good. Right. We decided the filet mignon and then the bacon and the cheddar soup, I think it is. How is the filet, Jeffrey? Amazing. So good. In Australia, how's the beer? All right. We also did the Australian wine plate and the lamb and tim, which is yellow cake dipped in chocolate covered in coconut. Sparkling blueberry wine, scallops, a cheese trio, butternut squash raviolis. This is a maple cheesecake. This was a beef kind of stroganoff. Then this was the cheese trio. All right, let's start with the raviolis. All right. Because there you go. Mm. Like I said, I'm personally not a butternut squash fan, but. Whenever I have it in a ravioli, it's really good. This is pretty good. The beef in there is still good. All right, scallop. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Which scallops do you like better? These ones. These ones are better than Coastal Eats, our opinion. These are seriously so good. Better than Coastal Eats. Get the scallops. They're worth the wait. Worth it. Finally made it to the chocolate studio. I've been waiting for this. Ever since I found out we were coming, well, decided we were coming. Because there's actually a chocolate tour. Don't you dare. Give them. Nope. Don't you dare. Give them. So they actually make the chocolate tour. Nitrate style. Oh there's the nitrogen <laughs> chocolate truffle, the shake, and the raspberry tour. Bottoms up. What are we supposed to do with this thing? Eat it. It's like a rock. Well, this is nitrogen frozen like pudding stuff. Very, very sweet. How is it? I don't like it. Finally here. We went to come here earlier, but it was a 25 minute wait, and I will not wait 25 minutes for this ride. First one tastes like blueberry. Oh, what does the next one taste like? Closing my eyes this time. No, not yet. That's the second time you try them. Great. Great. And the last one? Lemon. Lemon. All right. Now grab your blue cup. Focus. Close your eyes. And drink it with your eyes closed. What does it taste like now? 
<laughs> tastes like grape. It tastes more like grape this time. I think it's a magic book. It tastes freaky. Good stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Where is the monorail? survived the inner wine fest and I may have called another minivan. Might be drunk. <laughs> Jeff, is this how you enjoy your Disney vacation? Uh, no. I don't know. <laughs> Do we really pay this much money to come down here and you watch football? No, we're going to the pool in a minute. <laughs> Hi! How are we doing today? Good, how are you? It is pool time! Cool here at Caribbean Beach. And they have this adorable kitty pool section. We just found out Olivia couldn't go because she's actually too cool. My heart. What? We all just see the look on his face and he's gone. Did we leave him behind? Oh no! We didn't get him! No! No, 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 no! Said that we're missing illuminations and just ordered pizza to the room instead. <laughs> the pizza actually looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Did you have a good day today? Yep. What was your favorite part? Eating pizza. <laughs> oh, great. Frozen or test track? Which one do you like better? All of it. <laughs> oh. I like the first one because it went. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fast.